I'm a loud mouth and all that stuff, but I'm not stupid, for God's sake, and I never would have wittingly called any black person a say they are a monkey. I'm very sorry, but I don't think that. I never would do that. I have loved ones who are African-American, and I have people think that I did that and just killed me. I didn't do that. Although they think it did, and if they do think that, I am so sorry that I, you know, was so unclear and stupid. I'm very sorry. Um, Here's what I have to say. Let's talk about it. Let's really turn this into a teachable moment. We need to talk about race and uh, all everything that's uh, connected to it, including not knowing that someone who looks like me, her skin tone is like mine, and I'm brown. Uh, I didn't know she was African-American. I'm so sorry that you thought I was racist and that you thought that my um, tweet was racist because it wasn't. It was political. And um, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding that caused my ill-worded tweet. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm sorry that you feel harmed and hurt. And I, I never meant that. And, and for that, I apologize. I, I never meant to hurt anybody or say anything negative about a, an entire race of people, which I think 30 years of my work can attest to. You know, everybody knows that I have struggled with mental health issues. And I was struggling at that time as well. I was uh, impaired and stupid and mistaken and wrong. And for that, I apologize. No, they said, don't the apologize to the left. Ever. Right. And I told you at the time, you did the right thing. Because I thought it was I did. A, it, of course you did. Because I was God. sorry. You were sorry, and I did, I you have a higher set of I values. Did. How's this going to play right. on ET? Correct. I. But I just try to what live. What is most pr bothered me? I just me. try to live by my heart. Just trying to uh, be a forgiving person, and so I'll be forgiven. Mm. And I do ask to be forgiven, and I, by apologizing, I'm, I am sorry that I made uh, even one embarrassing day for anyone who gave me the chance to come on TV and make a number one show. And to all those whom I embarrassed, I am very sorry. And I, I, uh, I think that, uh, I think I, I owe that. And, uh, and I feel it. And I, I, I am sorry for, uh, you know, allowing myself to become unwell. Mm. Uh, mentally, because I, I worked so hard, I didn't look out for myself. I no. didn't take the vitamins. I didn't take the shots. We talked about that, mm -hmm. too, and your difficulty sleeping yeah. and then taking sleeping taking aids. Yeah. I've been sober off Ambien for, uh, since that happened. Fantastic. Am I doing it now? You're going to do it in five, four, three, two, one. I love you all so much. I love you, love you, love you. I wish you would love each other more. I wish you would laugh more. And most of all, I wish you would listen to the things I say because I'm 66 years old and I have lived through more than most of you will ever live through. And I know what needs to happen. So I want you to listen to me. I give good advice and I'm always right. <laughs> That's what I want to say. I say that to my kids. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much.